lots of people asking some Turkish recipe, so I decided to make my mom's uh, stuff uh, my needs today. I have so many courgettes from my garden, so I'm gonna use some of the courgettes as well to stuff with rice. And I have some normal green courgettes which from my garden and my friend's garden. And then I got this baby from my sister today. So let's start with the onions. And I have my sharp knife. And we're gonna chop that. So with our onions, we're just gonna fry them with three tablespoons of olive oil. We're cooking our onion. We're gonna have my tomatoes from garden. About three. So we're gonna grate them. After we grate our tomatoes, um, we're gonna have our herbs. We have dill. And if you don't have any fresh ones, you can always use dry, which I'm gonna mix them both. And same with mint. I have some fresh mint in the garden. And then I'm just gonna make sure I don't have the flowers. I just have the fresh one. Leaves. Separate them. And then we can just chop them. And then we're gonna just chop them small pieces. Then we still have one half of teaspoon dry dill because I like the taste of it. You don't need to put that in. And this is my dry mint. Another big teaspoon dry mint. And then we're gonna have, I'm just gonna put all my salt in here. About more than half a teaspoon salt. And about a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm just gonna use the cracked black pepper, it tastes always nice. And now we'll have about half a teaspoon of cumin. And in here I have one teaspoon of uh, cinnamon. We're gonna have one big teaspoon of sugar. I can just keep it with my cinnamon. And then we have uh, black currants. I'm gonna have about a handful of dry black currants. If you go to East Turkey, most people don't use the sweet stuff. They don't have the sugar, they don't have the black currant. Sometimes even they have the stuff wine leaves with um, bulgur wheat. But in Istanbul, we like with, to cook with olive oil and then we always add a little bit sweet to them. Because I'm gonna have a uh, stuffed kojet as well. So I'm gonna use my half kojet from yesterday. I'm just gonna take the edge. So you can just dump easily in the pot. And then with my teaspoon, I'm just gonna take the inside soft parts out. So you're gonna be able to just stuff my project easily with the right. And with this one, you can always use them for project pastry. And with my yellow one as well. I'm gonna cut this too hard and the edge so I can fit them right up. Okay, we're gonna take the inside out. The inside is nice and clean, and you have the space for our rice and my last box. So I'm gonna do some extra, even just it's just me and my partner. I like to share my food with my friends and family, so my sister will have some of the stuff. This is our toaster. So I have 
100 grams of white rice. I just wash them, rinse them. Uh, it can be any type of rice, as long as they are easy to rice. And then we're gonna just put them with a bit of our onions and olive oil. We're gonna add our grated tomatoes. And just mix them to make sure they are cooking. We're gonna put our black and fry herbs and black pepper. I'm gonna put the fresh one after I turn my heat off. And then our cinnamon and sugar. And then we are going to have quarter cup of water. In here I have long grey rice. It cooks really, really easy, so I don't need so much water. And when you stock your um, vegetables and your wine meat, I'm just going to turn this down. When you stock them, you need to cook them in a medium heat, so your rice will cook even better. Projects, I'm going to fill them up with our mix. You just need to make sure you leave it a bit space because when your rice cooks, it grows a bit bigger. So I'm gonna just fill them up. You don't need to push them. What I have is we pick all the vine leaves from my sister's garden, and then I made a hot water with salt in it. I'm gonna do the bottom part because they should be a bit softer. And then they've only been there for not even 10 days yet, so they might not be even ready. So we're gonna quickly rinse them. And then I'm gonna start to put them around on my Top. Okay, these are quite big ones, so they might be a little bit rough. So I'm gonna do two big ones on the bottom of the pot. So my stuff doesn't uh, stick on it. And then rest. You can just turn that. English teaspoon. In Turkey we have the small teaspoon, so these are the ones. We're gonna fold them top to bottom and then sideways and then we're gonna fold them and roll them and then they are ready to go in. Top to bottom, side in, side in roll 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 and then we can do many as we like my grandma used to make this for me and then my mom makes the best one you can put many as you like and just do them all in one go top to bottom side fold in fold in and roll Top to bottom, side in, side in, and then roll. And you just need to keep going. 